Hello and welcome back to Maester Reviews. Today, it's actually quite an interesting one I'm going to talk about. I'm going to be talking about Amsterdam from October 2022. Now, this one stars every single person under the sun, going from Christian Bale to Margot Robbie to John David Washington to Chris Rock to Robert De Niro to Zoe Saldana and more and more and more, more people. Mike Myers, Michael Shannon, the list goes on. And yet... It goes on for so much longer than it should. It's a bit boring in places. And overall, it's so underdeveloped for what it could have been with the cast that they had. It is without doubt, even with Glass Onion on the way, it is without doubt the most star-studded cast of the year. And they just didn't do it justice. Now, the plot in itself, with it mirroring, to the most part, historical events in in quite a couple of ways. It's clearly making awards play this film um, with them coming out this time of year. The plot was really interesting because I didn't know about it before and when it kicked into high gear when we actually knew what the hell was going on with this film and where it was going, which they didn't paint out for foreshadowing in the earlier acts. It just kind of came into focus very much so towards the end. Um, then it got really interesting. But other than that, as I mentioned in my previous review of The Lost King, it became very much a case of the performances were the highlight of the actors in play. And we enjoyed the performances, well, at least I can find from the audience I was with, and myself anyway, the performances from especially the leads and Christian Bale's doing amazing. Once again, we gravitated towards his performances and the chemistry between the characters in the scenes. But the overall story, that's what made it sloppy and sluggish. This one definitely, even more so with the likes of The Lost King and Miss Sarah's Goes to Paris in the previous month, which I reviewed in this setup. Go check those reviews out, by the way. Subtle plug. This one felt like it went on the longest. It went on for a very long time. And you could feel it to an enormous, enormous degree. And if it wasn't for the cast that was in play, this would rank ridiculously lower. Because at the end of the day, performance and cast members do boost up a film's quality. They do, based on how good their performances are. If anything, they are part of the form that makes film. So they did contribute to this, and they literally, the cast carry this film. That is the best way to describe it. The cast absolutely carry it. The rest of the areas are quite sloppy. But... More so than Harris and Lost King. Definitely more so than them too. This one is a great stream movie. And a good actors movie. If you just want to sit and watch it. And just maybe even in the background. Just admire the work that's going on. And pay rough attention to the plot. But maybe do something like a like a little activity while it's on. Not pay your full attention to it. Because it can get a bit sluggish sometimes. But it's a really good background film. With the best cast assembly of the year. So yeah, that is my review of um, Amsterdam and um, I will see you next time for my vengeance review. Goodbye.